Hi everyone, it's Laurel here from Smart Exercises, and I'm going to do a high intensity, low impact routine. Everybody can exercise together, even if we're not at that level. Just make sure you adjust the moves to what's right for your own body. So for example, if I'm tapping to the side and I take my moves up to a side leg kick, and that's not quite right for you, just keep it to the tap or vice versa. If I'm staying at the tap and you really want to go up to that kick, by all means, go right into it. As always, work at your own pace. And if any of my moves hurt, don't do them. That's just a sign from your body that that's maybe not the right move for you. So we can all exercise safely together, keeping these tips in mind. I'm going to put up a disclaimer, just reminding us about that, and then the class will start. Nice and tall. Roll those shoulders back. Tighten up that core. And just settle into the march. It's warming up here. Let's go with that toe tap to the front. So we've got a nice point. Pointing the toe down. Stretch out that shin. Nice light arm in there. We're going to switch it to a heel. Tap that heel out. Pull that toe high. Stretch it out the calf. Light kick, so let's kick it out. Starting to feel that stretch coming up the leg a little further. Let's take it to a little bit of a high knee. Bringing that stretch even further, right up into the lower back. Let's go one more each side.
Bring it back to that tall stance with those shoulders back and that tight core. And that runner's arm. And I'm going to add in fast feet. Going for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Right back to the march. Take it wide. Let's bring it back in. Let's go wide again. Now let's bring it in. I'm going into the rocking horse. So I'm going to get that tap in the front, tap in the back going. And then I'm bringing up my front knee and back heel. Now I'm going to take my arm on high. So I'm going to push up, push back. Just an option. You can keep it right how it was. Now you can keep that arm how it was. You can stay right like this. But I'm going to switch it into my runner's arm. And then I'm going to take that back leg out of it. That's just an option. You can keep it at that regular rocking horse. So it's stepping to the back just a bit. Two to go. Last one. And then we're right back to the march. Now I'm going to leave with that opposite foot. So let's get the rhythm going. Tap it to the front, tap it to the back. And then front knee, back heel. And again, keep the arm like this. Take it high. Make it work for you. Work at whatever pace you like. And keep it here. Or at that other arm. And I'm going with that runner's arm. So here I go. And then I'm going with that back step. Now you don't have to take the step back as far as I do. And then of course you don't even have to do it. You can stay how you work. Two to go. And then we're bringing it back to the march. I'm going to lean with my right leg. I'm going into the knee step. So that's uh, be on the floor, step wide, to step up to the point. So it's wide, wide, narrow, narrow. And again, the arm could go high, or not, or alternate. And that step forward could be a little bit of a low step, or not, or alternate. Let's all go two more, and then let's take it wide to the side. So here it is. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow, high arm if you choose. All the same options. So I'll go two more, and then back to the march. Here we go. I'm gonna do my rocking horse up with a little bit of a travel. So here we go. I'm stepping out with my right. So one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, heel. One, two. Two more. It's my last one. 
on my left this time. So, nice and wide, you just step out. Remember those options, high arm, low arm. Step out, lower and on. Or maybe alternate them all. Two more to the front, then switch it to the side. Last one. Here I go, wide to the side. High arm, or not, a little low. What arm was that? Oh my gosh. Two, three, four. Let's 
take it forward. Last one, back to the march. Let's do a tap to the back. It's a little tap or a little bigger. Make it work for you. Now that same leg that goes back, that's here, I'm just gonna punch it forward. Six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it back to the march. How'd you get counting? One is still be able to talk. If you have trouble, slow your pace. Leave the arms out. Don't just stop though, you gotta keep moving. So just judge whatever is right for you. Nice and tall. Let's tap it to the side. I'm bringing out my arms. I'm gonna bring my elbows in, take them out. Have yet trouble counting. Don't speed this up, and I'm gonna take mine to a double.
that's when you kick it out to that back corner. Now you don't like the kick, go with this half. Push it back. Yeah. 
begin with. And this alternating, pulling out those heels. Now, if you think you want to go faster, don't let it. Nice and calm. Let's go one more each. Good. Let's take a step. A little wider than the shoulder there. Slide over on one side. Keep the knee back from passing over the toes. And then the opposite side. Curtsy. Last one. Half it. 
it out. And we're bringing it down. Woo! Let's switch over and work that off the same way. So get yourself all set up. One foot behind the other. And when you're ready, up and out to that point. Take it back to the curtsy. I'm going to the point, not the path. And back to the curtsy. Here we go. To the point. Half path if you choose. Out. And take it down. Two to go. Half. Out. And down. Last one. Half. Out. And down. Ooh. Let's go in our, our little, uh, Call it a squat, slight squat. We're going to come up and over with that weight on our supporting leg, and that foot goes out. So remember, bring that weight over, try and hold, take it down. So the weight's balanced. Here we go. Take it back down. Let's go two more. And down. One last one. And let's bring it down. Now before we switch over, let's bring up that foot closest to the chair and drop that opposite knee down. Just hang out. Come back up. Push that heel to the back and reach it out. High core. Keep the breathing going. And then bring it back in. Now of course you can put the foot down if you need a break. I'm going to try and keep it up. And here we go again. Push it out. There it is there. And bring it in. Last one. Push it through that heel, out with the palm, and then bring it in, and bring it down. Whew. Let's switch it over to the opposite side. So, we're going with that slight squat stance, so our weight's balanced. Nice and light here, it's on this one. And then up, and over it. Try and hold. Now let's take it down. Balanced weight. Here we go. Up and over. Try and hold. Take it down. Two to go. Yeah, two to go. There we go. Back down. Last one. And take it down. Woo! So we're coming up with that knee beside the chair. Yeah. 
all over again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it up. I'm going to take a step out. So again, feet 45 degrees. Hip the hip. Drop down. Pulse for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now if you have an Indian, take one more step out. Hit the hips. Drop it down. Go down a little more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. about the shoulder width apart and have a slight bend in my knees. You could do this sitting if you prefer. That would be forward on your chair and your ankles under your knees. I'm going to roll those shoulders back and I'm keeping them back even though I'm bringing my arms forward. I've got a bent elbow and I'm taking them out to the side. Keep that elbow bent and then bring them forward. So my arm stays in that same position and then I come forward. We're working on our chest flies. That's three. We're going for ten. There's four. Exhale, you go out for five. Deep breath in as you come forward. We're on six. Seven. Bring 
come down in front. Turn those palms forward. Tuck that upper arm right against the body. Let's bring it up to that bicep curl. Try and take those weights all the way down. Exhale as you come up. And that deep breath in as you go down. So we're on three. Three of ten. Switch our stance. So have it bent in the front, kind of a straight leg in the back, nice line in the body. Keeping the elbows back, let's take the weights to the back, tip them down to the floor and squeeze. Keep those elbows back and spring the weights forward. Here's two. Here's three. Three of ten. You want to be forward on your chair. Let's just bring the ball between our thighs. Check that you're tall. Roll those shoulders back. Tighten that core. Deep breath in. A big exhale as you come in and squeeze on that ball. A deep breath as you release. Slow exhale. Let's take that ball out from behind our backs. And we're going to get ready for a sit to stance. So forward on your chair. And 
And we're going to go for our 20 and first 10 will hover for four. So remember to push the weight into your heels, hands out front, cross, or up, whichever you like. You ready? Here we go. Bring it up. And we must take it back down. Hover for four. One, two, three, four. Bring it up. Bring those hips forward and all the way back down. One, two, three, four. We're on three. Take it back down. One, two, three, four. Coming up for four. We're taking it down. One, two, three, four. Bring it up for five. Take it down. One, two, three, four. Here's six. One, two, three, four. Seven. One, two, three, four. Eight. One, two, three, four. Nine. One, two, three, four. Made it to ten. So we're coming down, dropping the counting, and coming right back up for eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and there's 20. Do that hip stretch. That's got that straight bent knee in the front, straight leg in the back. We're tipping those hips. It's going to press that knee down a bit, that back knee. And then just taking a deep breath. And a big exhale. Deep, deep breath. Let it go. Let's untip those hips. Press back into that back heel. We're trying to stretch out that back calf. Deep breath. And a big exhale. So one more deep, deep breath. And let it all go. Now let's straighten up the front leg. Bring that back knee in. Put in a bit. Bend knee in the back. We're trying to straighten. Stretch out that front chin. A deep breath. Big exhale. Let's just shake that out. Let's switch which foot's out front. So start with the bent knee, tip the hips, drops that knee, back leg, knee down. Deep breath. Big exhale. into that back heel. Stretch out that calf. Right? Normally push down a bit with my hips. Let that go. Bring that foot in a bit of pain. Straighten up that front leg. Stretch out that shoe. chair for my hamstring. So I'm going about hip width and I'm going to inch at the hips with that flat back and then I'm just bringing my forearms onto that chair and I just want to feel that stretch from right up the legs. Keep that breathing going. Bring 
and I'm going to rip that opposite side. Let's just bring it up and do a little karate chop to those quads. A little massage. Coming up, I'm just going to tip my camera slightly here. I'm going to bring that one arm over. A little resistance, but not on the joint. Drop that shoulder down. I'm going to try and feel it in the back of the shoulder there. Deep breath. Let's release that and bring the other one across. Thank you.